Why does February only have 28 days or 29 in a leap year? Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to unravel an interesting puzzle. Why does February only have 28 days or 29 in a leap year? It's a question we often overlook, but when you think about it, it's a bit odd. Why is February shorter than all the other months? Let's dive in and find out. The Roman Calendar Our story begins with the Roman Calendar. This was a 10-month lunar calendar that started in March and ended in December. So, originally, there wasn't even a February. King Numa Pompilius reformed this calendar around 713 BC to align better with the lunar year, adding January and February at the end. Both months were considered unlucky and thus had fewer days, but even then, February was not as short as it is now. The Julian Calendar The next big shift came with Julius Caesar. He introduced the Julian calendar in 45 BC, which was a solar calendar, in an attempt to simplify things and align the calendar year with the solar year. But here's the problem. A solar year is about 365.25 days. So, Julius Caesar decided to add an extra day to February every four years to account for this, creating the first leap years. Why 28 and 29 days? Now, you might be asking, why did February end up with 28 days, or 29 in a leap year, rather than some other number? This comes down to Roman superstition. The Romans believed even numbers to be unlucky, so most months were assigned an odd number of days. However, to make the total number of days in a year an odd number, which was considered more fortunate, one month had to be even numbered, and poor February drew the short straw. It was cut down to 28 days, leaving us with the 365-day calendar we're familiar with today. So, there you have it. The story of why February has 28 or 29 days is a mix of lunar and solar calendars, Roman superstition, and attempts to reconcile the calendar year with the natural solar year. It's a fascinating journey through history, showing how our modern systems are influenced by ancient beliefs and scientific knowledge. I hope this video has helped solve the mystery of February's missing days.